Hey guys, Prime Major 1986 here. Today I wanted to do a review over the Walking Dead Take It Like a Champ edition of Lucille. Now, um, I did a review of this already, but I took it down because I wasn't um, satisfied with the way it turned out. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and refilm it, obviously, and uh, give you guys this review. So, um, to start off with, um, there are things I really, really do like about this bat. Um, but there's some things I do not like, and I'm going to go over those. Um, but first things first, go and take a look at the packaging. Now, one thing I really do like is that they actually did something better with this packaging. If you let me get the other Lucille, which this one is my signed Lucille. Yes, I had this signed by uh, Glenn, Abraham, and Negan. So, this is not my prized possession. <laughs> Anyways, though, one thing I didn't really like about this box is that you could have a display like this where it says Lucille, The Walking Dead, like this, right? But you have to flip it like that. See what I mean in order for it to make sense? Because you flip it like this, Walking Dead's upside down, Lucille's upside down. It just looks kind of weird. So, um, and of course, there's the back, this, that, and the other. But what they did with this one is that they recognized that. And they actually flip-flopped it. Because if you look right here, see, they fixed that. So if you have Lucille displayed, it looks like this. And I think that looks a lot better. Um, it looks, I don't know. I, I, I just love the way they fixed that. So, um, of course, everything else is pretty much the same on the back. Of course, they got you know new figures that came out since then. Kind of funny because I didn't even put the bloody Lucille in the back. They put this one on there and it just said, um, you know, the non-bloody one is also available. And there's the end. There's that end. Here is this one. Again, just a clean version. And it says, just like the other one, adult roleplay replica bat crafted to match exact bat Lucille carried by actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan who portrays Negan on AMC's The Walking Dead. And, of course, it said that. On this one as well so um yeah there's a packages but enough about boxes let's get to the bat okay so here we are back with the lucille uh, herself now um i'm gonna go ahead and get some of the negatives out of the way one of the negatives is that um over here on the tip these two pieces were loose um if you've ever seen any of these lucille bats for some reason this wasn't a whole piece and they were loose just like my clean version, I just got a little dab of super glue and I glued them down. I think it looks a thousand times better. If you really wanted to, you could cut them off, but I think it looks better if you just glue it down. One thing I, uh, that kind of sucked, though, is that there was some um, like silver um, paint marks over here and a couple other places around the bat. I had to actually mix some red and black paint to cover that. and um, I'm not really sure if you can tell. It blends in pretty damn well. Um, you might be able, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. But anyways, um, yeah. So uh, that was kind of weird. Um, of course, that's where I glued it down. Uh, it was kind of a bitch gluing this down for some reason. But um, one thing I also don't like is um, in the promo pictures, in the prototype, it looked like you saw all, like fingerprints on it. Maybe some of them have it. I don't know. But mine does not. It just looks like maybe like they got like red paint and they smeared it like that. Because if you look right here... There's like next to no wood grain detail right here, which kind of sucks. Um, I really, really do like this uh, blood splatter, like the, you know, um, scattered effect. I absolutely love the way it looks, but it kind of just ends right here where this piece is. You know what I mean? I think it would be kind of nice if this would have bled over something here. Um, and of course, yes, it is made in uh, one, two, three, four pieces, just like the original. I can't really complain too much. McFarlane Toys, from what I understand, had to do that because if somebody was to try to beat somebody with this, it would more than likely break. So I think for legal reasons, they had to do that. I don't know. And maybe it was just easier to make. Um, of course, it ends bloody as well. Um, oh, and also, one other thing, there was also a, uh, right here, I had to put some black paint over it because uh, there was like a big dab of silver and it looked really weird. So it was like right here. So I had to put some black paint over that. I mean, the good thing, though, is that if you uh, mix it right, if you put the right paint on there, you can't even tell a difference, which is very, very, very nice and pleasing. Um, the blood, I do like it, but I feel like it could have been maybe just a tad bit glossier, a little bit more shiny. 
But it definitely isn't just a dull red. It definitely is shiny stone. I do like that. Um, but yeah, so that's all the negatives I can really think of out of the way. If I, if I think of any more, I'll bring it up. But moving on to the positives. Um, first of all, I, again, I do absolutely love the way this looks. And if you look right here, it even carries over some up here. That's what I mean. I wish it would kind of carry it over down here as well, but it don't, unfortunately. If you spin it around, you can see a little bit more of it. That looks nice. Also, I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up, but if you look at the uh, just the blood, like right here, for example, um, it has like little bit bubbles in it, which I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I like it. I think it gives it some texture. It would have been nice if they could have gave this maybe like some uh, brain um, matter in it, you know? Uh, make it look a little bit mushy, if that makes any sense. But, um, oh well. So there, so that looks all around. I do like the way to where the blood uh, is on here, but you still see the silver, the barbed wire. I think that looks very, very, very nice. One thing I've also noticed with this bat is um, if you look at the original, the barbed wire moves a lot. Uh, I mean, not like, you know, incredibly a lot, but I mean, you can move it around some, know what I mean? Uh, notably up here, every single version I've seen, you can move this piece a lot. The good thing about this one that they've kind of improved on is that it's like glued down almost. I mean, I'm sure if you really pushed it, you could. But uh, it does not want to move, and I really do enjoy that. And um, like right here, they don't want to move. You know what I mean? It seems like they got this down a lot more solid. The only piece that's kind of floppy is um, this piece. But it was like that on a lot of the originals as well. Um, this one is not like that, but the one I have signed over there is. Um, so, yeah. But that, I mean, it kind of falls into place. I'm not really too worried about it. Um... But uh, yeah, and of course I do like the way that the oval it looks kind of scratchy, just like the original, so that's nice. Um, and comparing the original to this, there they are together. And uh, definitely this one seems to be a little bit more brighter. That seems to be a bit more darker. I'm not really complaining, it's just, you know, there's the, uh, the difference, I guess. Um, like I said before. There's the end of it. It's also bloody, which I like a lot. I think it would have been kind of neat maybe if they had like a little bit of blood like drizzling down, you know. But again, that's just a suggestion, not really a complaint. Um, but yeah, there they are. Let's flip them over on the back. It's a comparison there. Here is, well, you're going to get right here so you can see it better. There are the tips. And here are the ends. So um, there's all the comparisons really right there. I guess if you really want to for the hell of it, here is the uh, Skybound Lucille. That came out last year at San Diego Comic Con. They have a bloody version with way better barbed wire that just debuted at uh, San Diego Comic Con. You know, obviously 2017. Um, it's bloody also. Not as bloody as this. It has kind of like this blood splatter look on it. Um, the little dabbles everywhere. Um, I already bought that from eBay, actually. So it should be here soon. Expect a review on that um, coming up soon. On the new version, at least. I already reviewed those two, obviously. Um, but yeah, so overall, I do really, really like the bat. Um, again, there are some complaints. Um... At first, I didn't really like this right here, how it was kind of spotty, but I do indeed like it now because I think it looked kind of weird if it was all red. Um, it kind of breaks it up, and on top of that, if you really think about it, if you were to hit something with this and move the barbed wire, it's going to be clean underneath. So, to me, it's kind of realistic. I like it. Um, if you have this pre-ordered, it should be shipping very, very soon, I imagine. I picked this up at my GameStop. They had a couple there, and I think uh, one at another GameStop that was near me. Um, I highly recommend, though, that you uh, maybe, if you have a pre-order, I mean, you know, that's good and whatnot. If you uh, want to keep your pre-order, go right ahead. But I would recommend you call your GameStop, and if they have one, go take a look at them. Um, there was a lot of difference between the ones I saw, a lot of difference. There were some to where... Uh, this was completely clean. They didn't have any blood right here. And it was a little bit more bloodier right here. 
and there were some where it was clean all the way down so um just pick up the one you like the best paint wise um and again if you find any other little spots like how i did on mine just get some red acrylic paint some black acrylic paint kind of mix it till you get the right tone and then just kind of dab it on there um uh, so yeah pretty easy fixes i'm kind of rambling at this point but uh yeah i love it i think it's great so with that being said guys thank you all for watching and i will catch you all later